Hello, what's up? Uh, so I've been an atheist for, I don't know, freaking three years now. Um, since deconverting from evangelical Christianity back in 2019. And while my opinion on God's existence hasn't changed that much, uh, I also feel like it doesn't really matter to me much anymore, right? Like, it, it matters to me less and less the older I get. Like, I, I don't really care about whether people agree with me on the God question so much as, you know, whether or not they're decent human beings. Like, I'm probably a humanist if you actually went down my whole list of beliefs, I'm typically on the side of humans. Of course, I also feel like there should be some consideration for non-human animals, uh, so I don't know. Basically, I'm on, I'm on team less suffering. I want there to be less suffering in the world. Uh, when it comes to religion, uh, I don't think it's for me, but there are a lot of things which are very cool that aren't for me, like sports or Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I still know a lot of perfectly rational people who enjoy those things. It's none of my business, as long as they're not hurting anybody. As long as those Sonic fans don't go out shooting people who don't like Sonic the Hedgehog. We're cool. We're cool. I have Sonic fan friends. So it's for this reason uh, that when I see a clip like this one from Ricky Gervais and Richard Dawkins, I just kind of die a little bit inside. I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in about 2,700 gods. Christians don't believe in 2,699. Yes. So they're nearly as atheistic as me. Yes. So like, the general idea here isn't necessarily a bad one, right? I, I had a similar thought when I was, you know, 17. Uh, there are thousands of distinct religions, right? Like many of them are now extinct. And the idea that the religion that we are born with is in fact the correct one, it's, it's, it's a bit conceited at the least. Uh, like, what are the odds? that when we all die, we just end up in Egyptian hell. However, I really think this argument falls apart for two reasons. Uh, the first is, it's just not a very complicated or insightful point. Uh, like, once you get past this initial rebellious phase in your deconversion, uh, the idea that the only difference between atheism and monotheism is the number of gods you believe in is, is just, it's kind of the whole point. Like, that's just the definition, right? Back when Dawkins wrote The God Delusion, there was still kind of a stigma around atheism. Uh, to the point where normalizing the concept was, at the very least, kind of helpful. Uh, but however, in, in recent years, with a growing number of non-religious people, it, like if you know you're atheist or agnostic, you're you're non-believer, you you whatever, it doesn't really matter so much anymore. Like nobody's shocked and wondering how that's possible. Like we all know somebody who doesn't believe in God now. It's no big deal. That's all. New. The other big reason that this argument doesn't work is most people who still hold to a concept of God aren't unaware of like the number of religions that are out there and for many of them it's a sign that like some kind of god must exist like given the veracity of supernatural beliefs throughout history uh, they think it's it's logical to assume that some kind of spiritual being must exist for others they see a belief in god as like a simply a pursuit of spiritual truth and meaning or something in, in which like which gods or god you believe in is irrelevant Really, the only case this argument does anything with is for fundamentalist belief, uh, which you leave no room for error or different interpretations. But even then, I don't think the argument itself is very engaging or useful. See, the problem with religious fundamentalism is that it keeps people from thinking or questioning their conclusions. The idea that the solution to the problem of religious fanaticism creates is an equally fanatic version of atheism is, is kind of preposterous. Like, we don't live in a world that's capable of being condensed into a single set of a single religion, and doing so wouldn't lead to a just world. At least, I don't think so. In fact, I might go so far as to say that this kind of generalizing is a big reason we have so many problems with social justice around the world today. Just last week, there was a 7th year old landlord who stabbed a 6 year old boy and his mother for being Muslim. Like, that kind of blatant racism, xenophobia, it's, it's, it seems ridiculous in a country that has supposedly developed beyond these kind of brutish sentiments, but it still exists. It's a testament to not only how deep the cords of fear and hatred run among the religious sect, but also how the classic atheist response of, I'm just criticizing your beliefs, is incredibly unhelpful. You may think that your understanding of the Quran is that it supports jihad, and that therefore that's what all Muslims believe, but in reality, of course, the overwhelming majority of Muslims in America abhor violence and feel that the Quran also condemns these actions uh, in the same way just because 
your interpretation of the Bible would lead you to see Christianity as violent, homophobic. Many Christians today do not interpret the Bible that way. Long and short of it, uh, religious belief is complicated, and honestly, seeing folks like Dawkins and Ricky Gervais still present these same arguments decade after decade just seems really sad. Like, I feel like these guys desperately want to remain relevant in a world that has just moved past them. I mean, Dawkins gave us a term meme, and Ricky has, has made money trying to be funny. They could have both left their legacy there, right? Like, but instead, they're recycling these old school new atheism talking points, ragging on trans people to the point where they could very well be all they're remembered for. There are a lot of interesting conversations that can be had about religious beliefs and what function they serve in a modern society. But when you have folks like Richard or Ricky who can only engage in people they disagree with in a self-conceited way, looking for the most absurd way to represent the opposition, you make those conversations really, really hard to have in a mature way. Uh, yeah. Bye.